Can I say hi? My name is Marty, and um, I have a skin I have a skin problem called EB. Marky had an older brother with the same condition. Um, his name was Carlos, but we called him Babas. He passed away at 14. Losing one son and knowing I'm gonna go through that that pain again um, is not something you can really describe or put into words. It's it's an emptiness that never gets filled. I want to remember that um, uh, when I pass that it's not going to be sad. It's going to be happy and joyful and that she'll be okay. Because I know um, uh, God will be there for her as he is for me. Welcome to SBSK. We believe that everybody has a story that's worthy of being heard. When we listen to one another, the world becomes a closer place, and we all benefit together. So without hesitation, let's meet today's friend. What would you say is the most important thing for the world to understand about you? I might not look like I'm, uh, I'm normal, but I'm still a, a normal kid, even though I do have this disease. And I just want you to see me who, who, I, who I am. Huh? No one's ever sat next to me while filming me before. How do you okay. feel? Okay. Do you like making new friends? Mm hmm When you first meet somebody, how do you like to introduce yourself? Um, I like to tell them what, um, what's my name. I like, sometimes I like to give them a little face bump. I'm happy to be here. Why did you smile so big when I gave you that fist bump? Um, I just say do that to people when, um, when I first meet somebody. Well, I'm really excited I get to be here today. I've heard lots of wonderful things about you and I'm really excited to hear your story. What we get the most is they automatically look at them and think that it's contagious. Um, we've been pulled out of stores because people have called the police saying that, you know, oh, we saw this abused boy in a store and um, and they always look at me funny. Some kids do look at me like that. And they don't know what to think. And they say, um, what happened to him? Like, did he got run over? Was he, was he caught in a fire or something? What do you hope they say to you? Um, I hope they say that I'm brave and strong, that I make it through. What is the best thing that somebody can do to provide you comfort and support? Um, play games, talk to me, sing to me. Um, sometimes I like to, um, um, hold somebody's hand if I get, like, really scared or nervous. Why does a helping hand provide you that comfort? It gives me something to think about. Like, I'm not by myself. I go into his room at night a lot and I put my hand on his chest a lot and that irritates him sometimes because it wakes him up, but... Why do you do that? <laughs> um... When we lost his brother, his um, it was all of a sudden. It was um, I walked into his room and he had passed with no warning. So, it's um, it's a challenge at night because if I sleep too long, I actually wake up in a panic because he hasn't woken me up in the last couple of hours. And so I go in there and put my hand on his chest, and then I can I can go back to sleep after that. What's it like to be 18 and live with your condition? Um, it, it feels pretty good. I do not know if I was going to be able to be 18 because of my condition. His prognosis was um, between 11 and 13, so, and he's 18 now. So pretty much... So I wasn't going to make it. So pretty much the doctors say every day is a, every day is a blessing. I do like him when he comes here not night and checks on me. Why do you like it? Mm, yes, it lets me know that she's, um, uh, that she's, that she's, that she's close. No mother should have to pick out her own child's coffin. Um, no mother should have to live every day knowing that they are going to lose their child before they themselves will pass. He didn't tell Marky right away. Uh, well, they in rooms. Yeah, I really didn't know how to tell him. Um... The day came and went, and we woke up the next morning, and I was on his bed. 
asleep and he told me he saw Baba's in his dream the night before. And that's how I knew he passed. He said he saw him in heaven. I, I saw a big old smile on his face. He was happy, no longer in pain. He didn't have any sores. I wanted to cry so bad, but um, he wanted me to stay strong for him. When you wake up in the morning, what's the first thing you think about? Um, um, how much pain I'm going to go through when I get changed. He's just always so loving of others and so selfless of his own wants and needs. He, he worries more about the people he loves than he does himself. What in this world makes you the happiest? That would be uh, my mom. Why your mom? She's always been there for me, taking care of me my whole life, ever since I was a baby. His faith never wavers, ne never at all. It, even when, there's times when he has to bring me back to reality of, of, of our faith because there's times when, you know, you're, you're a mother and you lose one child, you know you're going to lose another one. And it does make you question. It does make you ask why. It does make you, um, I've gone through my periods to where I've been very angry, um, very confused. Um, but I'll go into his room and the first thing he wants before I get him up is prayer. And praise music. And praise music. And... So there's mornings when I go in there and I'm, I'm in my feelings, I'm in my emotions because I know, you know what it's, what's about to happen. Um, it, it shifts my faith back to where it's supposed to be. I mean, I go through pain every day. But um, God gives me strength every day, so that's how I get through my day and I still have a smile on my face should be the other way around because I'm the mom. Like I should be, you know, keeping him on track with his, but it's it's the complete opposite half the time. It's it's him reminding me of how strong his faith is and his love for other people. Does your faith provide you with hope? Yes. If I didn't have my faith, I would be probably the most miserable person on earth, not having the faith and the knowing that I'm going to see them again. If I, as a mother who's lost a child, if I didn't have that sense of confidence and knowing that my son is, is he's not gone, he's just not here. Um, I can't be with him right now in the physical, but I am going to be with him again. And that comes from our faith. That comes from knowing where we're going to go when we're no longer here. And we are going to see each other again. Why is it important to comfort your mom? She's always, there. She's always trying to comfort me. And anytime she says, I, I, I try to take care of her, I try to, she has to take care of me. And she tells me, no, I'm your, I'm your mom, it, 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 go, it doesn't go like that. <laughs> I hope you um, see me um, uh, as a, a normal kid um, uh, besides, my, my, besides my skin. So I, I just want to let um, everybody know that. Do you fear that some people might not see you as just a normal person? Yes. Um, uh, sometimes I wonder what they think about my, um, uh, about my scanner. Well, right now I'm thinking that I think you're a wonderful person and I really want to be your friend. What's the best thing I can say to you so that you know that I accept you and I think you're just a great person? Sometimes I like, um, people, um, saying that, the, that they, they will think about me, um, uh, pray for me and all that, um, uh, there's, oh, there's a bunch of stuff. Oh, I'll, I will certainly think of you. I consider you a friend now, and I'll remember you. Is there anything others can do to comfort you? No. I don't, I don't think so. It is something that will only be healed when we're not in this earth anymore. Do you two openly discuss the prognosis? I don't. Um, I probably should with him, but it's hard for me. He has his what I call daddy-son conversations. Um, he opens up more about it with his dad than he does me. When you two talk about his disease, what do you say? What do you talk about? That it is a uh, temporary thing. That it's something that's not going to last forever. I'll tell him I, I, I can't do this anymore. 
Yeah, it's too much. Yep. I'll just let them know it's, you know, that God's got a plan and, uh. I, we, I want a normal body. I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah, I think we both can agree with that. I think he comforts me by not bringing up to me, um, his thoughts or his feelings on knowing that, um, he's going to leave this earth before me, um, because he will, I see him sometimes holding back tears. I see him, see him sometimes, um, I think having a thought, but then not following through with it. One day he is going to walk, one day he is going to be in a perfect body. So I just try to keep his mind and his heart focused on that. So. If you had one wish, what would it be? My wish would to be is walk. Because um, uh, my I can't walk very good. I see him seeing the other kids, especially his age, running around doing things. He connects more with adults and with um, like Caden, um, my nephew. He connects with him very well because there's no judgment there. Um, and then, but kids his own age, teenagers can be cruel. <laughs> Why do you think it's hard to connect with teenagers? I just can't, I just can't connect with them. Like, like, there's, there's nothing there. Do you wish there was? Yeah. There has been um, sometimes that I won't see anybody for a while. So I wonder if they still like, remember me, like remember who, I, like remember who I am or not. What does it mean to you when somebody takes the time to be your friend? It means a lot to me. Why does it mean so much? Like, oh my God, like, like they, this this person really wants to get to know me. Like, like hardly very much people get to um get to do that. If somebody wants to be your friend, what should they do? Um, just play for me. Um, uh, just, um, um, uh, help me take my mind off of what I'm going through. Um, uh, just, just, um, uh, give me encouragement and talk to me or something. What's something you want Marky to always remember? How much I love him and how much I value being his mom. How do you feel as you hold your mom's hand? I feel, I feel at peace. I feel, I feel happy. What about it makes you feel at peace? It's something that makes you feel good inside. It lets me know that I'm not alone and that she's always there 